World Economic Forum report actually said something like seven million jobs will, will go and more will be created. Uh, but when you look at what other researchers have said, this looks rather modest. Uh, Oxford University research suggests in a study on 700 occupations in the States that one in two of those were in danger of automation. Another study said that for every 10 jobs lost, only one is created. And there's this word that, that has emerged here called cannibalization. En français, les cannibalisation du travail. So it's not just the number of jobs, but then the content. So the, the technology cannibalizes work that people are doing today. So the picture is one of dramatic change. And we really have to come to the conclusion that this really does matter. And we're not to listen to the technology fantasists who say this is marvelous, this is wonderful. We lost 60 million jobs. Uh, whereas there's a 60 million job gap, sorry, since the great financial crash. And this gap has not been filled. The world has to create 600 million jobs in the next 10 years. If you change the participation rate, that goes between 600 and 1.8 billion jobs have to be created. And we have the financial melt volatility and we have a technological revolution, which is not just a first world technology. This is ubiquitous. It will be everywhere. You can be as worried about this in your African village as you can be uh, in downtown Zurich. Number one, the employment relationship. With Uber and the platforms, the message that they are saying is there is no employment relationship. I pay you, I hire you, I fire you, I observe what you do, I supervise what you do, but you're not an employee. That immediately changes labor market rules and other platforms are doing something likewise. So we have to look at what is the employment relationship and is there a sense of responsibility? So there's a huge mismatch uh, in, in the relationship, that, the skills that people have, the skills that are demanded, and then what are we gonna do this through the life of an enterprise? Because what we're being told is job for life, forget it. A job over short periods will be the way, that the technology will fragment every piece of your job and then you, you have piecework. We all know what piecework is. And then the idea of a career and then the long-term commitment all goes. So this needs thinking through. Um, they talk about an entrepreneurial world where people have to take risks. This is very attractive for the millennials. I mean, the millennials don't want to be trapped in these large bureaucratic uh, organizations as they see it. They want to have responsibility quick. I think they have a sense of risk. Uh, and therefore, what is the infrastructure that we have in a country which will encourage people to set up their own business or to set up their cooperatives, to work through the app? And this puts pressure on the, is the financial system up to the job? So it means the young people have to understand the world of finance. They'll have to understand the, the, the terms of risk, but there has to be a kind of a, an ecosystem around them that says, if I fail, it doesn't mean to say I'm going to the poorhouse.